All right, guys. So <clears throat> back to wiring this thing. Um, if you saw my last video I put up, that was filmed actually a few months ago, and I kind of just want to wait it, wait till I got really into actually wiring it to keep all the videos, you know, in order. So I'm just gonna quickly go over this, just a quick rundown um, again. So these are the harnesses you need. We'll start over here. That's these two right here are ECU harnesses. They both plug into the ECU. This one's got a lot of your um, some sensors, the glow plugs. That big plug right there plugs into a separate harness. That one there that is basically strictly for the injection pump. And then we got uh, another plug in there. I don't remember what that was for. And then just other coolant, plug, trans, uh, that was probably a vehicle speed sensor, um, oil pressure. So a lot of this stuff is gonna get deleted and I'm gonna start doing that here shortly. Um, so this is the other ECU harness. This has all the colored plugs which plug into the main, I would call it the main power harness. Um, so that's all the power, all the fuses, and relays so all these colored plugs plug into that and then there's also a few other um, sensors like the anti-shutter valve the n75 the egr um, like the starters on that the map the math and then this is the main like i said the main more or less the main power harness and I've adapted it to this the factory box where the coolant glue I think they're the coolant glow plugs um, and it was actually really easy so what I did was when I pulled these fuses originally right here these all went into the main fuse box in the cabin and instead of cutting the wires I pulled the pins out and this box already has spots for fuses so literally as simple as pulling them out of the the interior fuse box and plug them into here and they're all labeled so i knew which one was going to what um so this is this is right here that's the 109 relay this blue wire which sprouts off basically powers every system on this ecu or on this harness you can see it goes to every fuse and then from that from the fuses they run off and power everything on the basically everything on this harness that we're going to be using so all basically all we got to power all we got to do is power 109 relay which here goes to the battery so pretty simple um, obviously there's other wires we have to mess with but that would essentially power the entire harness uh, there's another couple wires that we have to hook to the Toyota ignition um, but we'll get to that later so that's what you need to pull out of the car you already saw the video of you know pulling it out so that should give you a pretty good idea of what you need so I'm gonna just start with one harness this one's already halfway tore you gotta pull all the shielding and everything off this one's already down to it so I'm gonna start with this one and I'm going to be pulling my EGR, my ASV, uh, coolant, I, our crankcase heater, I'm not sure yet, I haven't really, I haven't figured that out yet. Uh, this is the shifter, that's actually, yeah that's not deleted yet, we just got to pull those pins out. That connector, that will be out. Um, what was that one? Map map you definitely need to save was there math on here yeah math so my tuner talked me in deleting math so I will be pulling that um, so yeah let's start with this harness all right so I'm gonna take the uh, rest of this uh, stuff off this harness so you spirit you got to be careful you don't want to cut any wires um, so just take your time and just do a little bit at a time
All right, so when you go to delete stuff, it's honestly just find out what you want. <clears throat> Anti shutter valve, we don't want that. So there's a purple and a yellow wire. So what we're gonna do is just trace this back. So one of these wires goes into this big bundle, this big splice here. So we'll cut that there, and then we'll follow this purple. The purple goes up to the ECU, and I'll show you how to pull these pins apart, or pull these plugs apart so you can pull the pins out. One second. All right, so to get this ECU apart, or the ECU plug apart, there's two clips we need to pull out. One's on the top here, so it kind of spread the wires apart to get to the center of it. And this one slides straight up, like that. And then get a flat blade, just this little small one. And this clip here will slide out here. So set those aside. The wire I'm looking for. This is purple. So there's two halves of this ECU block. Um, and this wire is on this side. So we'll pull this whole block out, this whole half of the plug. And just be, be gentle with it. And find your wire. So we are looking for this one here. And you can see down in here on this upper row right here, there's the retainer. It's like a little, just a little tab. So all you need to do is get your, just get the smallest flat blade you have and you bend that tab in. And that pin should come out. So just like that. And the nice thing about it, unpinning them versus cutting them is if you decide to add something back in, um, you have the pins and wire and everything. You just go, go ahead and plug it back in. So that pins out. Let's get it out of here. You can slide this back in there in the plug. And pull this wire out. And just like that, anti shutter valve, the two wires were out. So, um, and we'll just go ahead and do that on every, every sensor we want to delete out of the harness. So, just follow that same procedure. Just basically trace the wires, find out where they go, cut them. If they're, a lot of them are in splices like this where the main, for the power wire. So either cut that or unpin it, whatever you can do. And then save all this. Um, like I said, eventually down the road, if someday you want to put something back on, um, it's not going to be the end of the world because you have everything to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and get, get a couple other sensors out of here. And it should slim down this harness pretty good. <clears throat> All right, we got this harness basically done. And so what I left is CCV. Um, this is the heater for the crankcase vent. Um, some people say 
you should keep it just so because it gets pretty cold here and, and it can actually ice up plug up once that plugs up you're blowing uh, seals in the motor because the can't, case can't vent so I figured I might as well leave that uh, map sensor N75 that's for your turbo actuator and then those colored plugs and that's literally the only thing that's on this harness so <clears throat> that one should be done for now so next I'll jump into this one um, let's see there's a few things to delete the tranny that's the I believe that's the uh, vehicle speed sensor that's going coolant that we need that uh, oil pressure we don't need starter here or no that's the third injector we definitely need that we definitely need all this this is there's a that's your main um, plug for the injection pump and then you got the crankcase or crankshaft position sensor and then your glow plugs here so this harness there isn't much on it just a couple things to pull off and should be good so working on this harness now so looking at it I, I decided it's not really worth my time to strip the entire thing down because all we're pulling off really is the oil pressure which is one wire and this trans plug or the speed sensor everything else we're keeping so I'm just gonna leave that as is for now once I get the thing up and running I'll probably just cut these here cut that there cut that there inside the harness tape it up and we're done um, and then I'll obviously go through and clean up some of this other stuff just to make it look better retape it or whatever but I figured it ain't worth my time to strip the entire thing down just to take off two plugs so that harness will leave for now